welcome to Mr. Paul's Pantry. I'm Mr. Paul. Hope you're having a good day and I also hope you're going to enjoy what we have in store for you today. And just recently I've had a few requests for how to make a fish pie. So today I'm going to show you how to make a quick, simple, easy but delicious fish pie. So let's do it. Here are my ingredients. My fish pie is quite a simple one. You can make it more complicated if you wish. You can make it more exotic, but not where I come from. It's just plain, simple, wholesome food. The fish I'm using is a selection. You can use whatever fish you like. I prefer normally haddock and cod, but it's very difficult to get. It's very difficult to uh, sustain, and so I try to use something that's more available. Here I'm using hake. Here we call it Malutha, it's hake. I'm also using a little bit of salmon, which is reasonably priced all the time now because it's mostly farmed. And I've got some raw prawns here. Now, you may not want to use these. I like to buy raw prawns cook, uh, and cook them myself. I will peel them, of course, before they go in the pie. But you can just use ordinary peeled prawns, it doesn't make any difference. And most important, fresh lemon juice. That's a lemon from pick from my tree 10 minutes ago, so it couldn't be any fresher. Here we have a few uh, frozen peas. If you want to bring the changes, I do sometimes, I change it for a bit of sweet corn. Chopped parsley, one medium onion, three nice sized potatoes for the mashed topping, plain flour, you may know it as all purpose flour. If you're wondering what this says on here, don't worry, it's Spanish for wheat flour, that's all. I can't help that. Here we've got some cream and some milk. And somewhere, I haven't put it here for some reason, it's probably still in the fridge, a little bit of butter to make the sauce with. So that's it. Let's do it, shall we? Potatoes reasonably small, the quicker they cook. Okay, so I like to cook them um, about that size. Three and a half. Down like that. Just cover them with cold water, just cover them, bring them to the boil, salt them after it's come to the boil and always start with cold water. It gives a lot better mashed potato. Right, now while your potatoes are hot, you need to get more seasoning. A nice lot of butter and a mash. Now you can of course use a ricer, some people use ricers, I just use a masher and if necessary then I just add a little drop of milk, okay? So, so we're going to gently warm the milk and I'm going to put in the onions, which I've just roughly chopped. And let that infuse. Don't bring it to the boil, just let it come to a simmer just for a few minutes and then leave it to cool again. Now we need to add the butter into the pan. Melt that gently. Keep it on a medium-low heat and as soon as that's melted then we're going to add the flour. So that's 25 grams of the butter, 25 grams of plain flour and we need to mix that round now to make what we call a roux. This is just cooking the flour out in the butter cook it for a few seconds just to make sure we've got no floury taste at the end in the sauce mm -hmm. now I've already sieved the onion out of the milk and we're going to start and add the milk now small amount at a time keep stirring that way we won't get any lumps 
as it thickens up and absorbs the milk you can see we can now add more milk keep stirring again and keep doing that until all the milk is incorporated it's at this stage now where I'm going to add half a stock cube this is a fish stock cube I use that because I don't make my own fish stock I make a lot of stock myself but not fish so I'm going to add that to the sauce now give that a good mix now I add the parsley which is basically making a parsley sauce give that a good stir around this is fresh parsley I've grown myself but I have chopped it and frozen it so it's easy to use there we go that's all ready to go into the dish now now we have to assemble the dish we've got the fish here so we'll put the white fish in the bottom first I just found a bone there so just remove that quickly that's it white fish in the bottom followed by the salmon followed by the peeled prawns I've peeled and deveined the prawns now you may have seen people making fish pie where they pre-poach the fish I've tried that several times but I always find it comes too crumbly it falls to pieces too much Put some lemon juice on top of this followed by the peas or if you're using the sweet corn put the sweet corn in at this particular stage now season salt and pepper to taste nice good grinded pepper followed by the sauce And what I need to do is just gently ease that into amongst the, the fish. Like that. Then I need to leave that, make sure it's well coated, the fish underneath. I need to leave that to cool down before I put the potato on. That's the next step. So all that remains now is for us to cover the top with the mashed potato. We just, we just need to rough up the top now with a fork. And there we are ready to go into the oven if you want you can sort of dot a little bit of butter on top there put that in the oven now at about 180 for 45 to 50 minutes okay. here we are 50 minutes later there we are beautiful yes test time now taste test time
Mm. Well, that really is well worth making. It's delicious. If you like the video, give it a like down below. Share it with your friends on social media. And if you haven't already done so, press the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the little bell at the side. That will make sure you get a notification every time I put a new video up. So until next time, have a good day. Bye.